Yes guys, how is it going? And Happy New Year. We are in to 2021. Um, I don't really know where to begin. Uh, a massive thank you. We have hit or we have started the new year of 155 subscribers, which I am so grateful for. And I really hope throughout the rest of this year, we just continue to grow. And it's like, who knows? Who knows where we'll be this time next year? Um, it'll be very interesting to see. But yeah, I hope you guys had a nice night, the best you could, celebrated with your loved ones, family. Um, today's episode is a massive catch up, really. The stuff you're looking at already from the beginning, you may have realised how long ago it came out or was about. Um, basically, through December, I just went through a period of questioning whether this was a good idea, uh, questioning whether this was going to go out. I was recording stuff on the side, but then never doing anything with it. So this video is a catch up. Like that was just a blip, I want to say. I don't know why I felt like that, but I did. Um, I'm not giving up on YouTube. Like I'm absolutely loving doing it. And it feels like a hobby, which it is, and that's how it should be. If one day it was a job, then we will count our lucky stars. But until then, we have to, we just have to make, I don't know, make use with what we're doing and not take anything for granted. So as you can see, we done Memphis the Pie. A lot of you may have already seen him in my squads. But that's how long ago some of this is from. I think the first clip's from late November. So yeah, it's it's all of December's footage that I haven't put out really. Um, there is a lot in my mind about FIFA at the moment. Um, one, do we continue the road to glory? Like, there's certain parts I like putting out, but then bits like this... I don't think are that interesting for you guys to watch potentially. Like you can go through my viewed videos or my videos and look at the views and the ones that aren't like this have better views, have better interaction, have more likes, have more comments. So does the road to glory continue, but we upload one a month like this? and show you bits here and there or does it continue and I do what I've done this month and I upload for example if the icon pack comes out if party bags come out if I don't know if stuff like that comes out and then we upload an episode like shorter ones because I feel like you guys like the shorter ones I don't know it's difficult to read at the moment what's best but when we went away for my birthday and we filmed that vlog, that was so much fun to film and to come back and edit and put together. That was something I really did enjoy and definitely want to put more of those types of videos together. Obviously, it's going to be difficult because of COVID to go and do things with work. Like everything costs money, obviously. And it's not going to be easy. But if there's a day or a time where I think vlogging is the right thing to do, those videos will be coming to the channel more. But I'm not just going to vlog a day for no reason. Like something needs to happen. Something good needs to be happening. Um, but that's that's kind of where where my head lies with that. Also with FIFA content. Please let me know in the comments, would you like to see any career mode? Because it's something I'm interested in starting, even just to see if it if it does well at all. If it doesn't, we leave it there. We leave it at however many episodes it takes to realise. Would you be interested in pro clubs? I have already filmed three episodes, potentially. Um, it's long footage, so obviously 
cutting it down would take a while, but would pro clubs be something you're interested in? It's good fun to record. It's with two of my mates and there wouldn't be any face cam. It would just be us talking through Discord. I don't know. It's something that, again, is probably worth trying, but I want to get your guys' feedback as well on it. I don't just want to go ahead and do it. And then finally, on the video front, I do want to start to do videos of Fair again, but it's just time, thinking of um, etc, etc. Um, from our break, me and Freya currently now have to isolate for eight days. I think where we went out for dinner um, and we checked in on the NHS app. Must have been there where we have now had a message telling us to self-isolate for eight days. So I am in isolation until the 7th. So I do have time. I do have time on my hands now to hopefully, hopefully knuckle down on the videos and get them out to you. But we shall see. So yeah, as you can see through this episode, guys, as I was blabbering on there, but when I haven't done one of these, I haven't done one of these videos while I'm watching the footage at the same time for what feels forever. So it's kind of, I had to get that off my chest first because it was on my mind to let you guys know. Interaction is key. So a bit of fluff floating around in my face. But as you can see, all this footage is from a while back. When these player picks were out, these first ones, I'm sure it was like the record breakers and stuff like that in packs. Like, I wouldn't have done these for no reason and these wouldn't have been out for no reason. But I just cannot remember for the life of me why they are out. But there, as you can see, this David Beckham was released. And if you're wondering what this is or if you want to also get this it's not too late everyone on the game who plays it from something like the 15th of december to the 14th of january gets this card all you have to do is log into our ultimate team and play one game it's not bad for a free card yes yeah there's icon cards too but for a free card you can't really complain it is a shame they cannot just give us base, maybe his base icon card but then i don't think hit well any of his icon cards would have had any value if everyone just had a card that linked to everyone straight away but why not give us that it's it's fifa fifa's made to have fun like i see some things going around and it's like our sbc's worth it our objective cards worth it and maybe not but fifa's there to have fun if there is a card you want and you can afford it, do it. Like, why not? Yes, coins are there to buy other players and you don't want to sink them into untradables, which I completely agree with. You don't want to sink your coins into untradables, but if it's the right card, then you're going to do it. So here now, you can see free Serge Gnabry come out. And this was a no-brainer for me. The card looks unreal as it is. He perfect links to our Goretzka. He goes into the Arsenal past and present team. And I think I've done the whole thing with fodder that I had at the time. Um, my club is running very dry right now. I don't have much. I've not really played rivals too much. I was more doing objective cards the last couple of weeks. Obviously with Christmas, didn't really play it too much. Um, like I said, I've been playing pro clubs more. So FIFA's kind of on... Uh, Ultimate team especially is kind of on the back burner, like team of the years around the corner and I see people saving their packs, I physically don't have it in me. Headliners comes out tonight, it's probably already out the time you're watching this video. So I haven't currently opened my uh, rewards from this week. I actually for the first time managed to get, I believe, haven't actually checked. But I believe I got rank one in division one. So we have two ultimate packs coming our way. So fingers crossed we can get something. As you can see here, we did this Oxlade Chamberlain SBC. And it is madly overpriced. Like, my honest opinion would be don't go near it. I don't know where the first two squads were. I must have just done them off camera. If I remember rightly, 
I think I was doing him gradually. So I may have either deleted the other two squads or I just didn't get them at all. But this is the biggest waste of money ever. His card looks nice and... I mean, he didn't even walk out. I was gutted about that. He doesn't have a dynamic image. Don't know why. Like, where on earth is his dynamic image? It's really annoying me that he doesn't have one. If anyone knows why he doesn't have one, please let me know. But again, from my point of view, the reason why I've done it was simply because Arsenal past and present. There will come a stage. I know I spoke about it in the last Icon video, potentially, that Arsenal past and present was the way I'm heading. But now making the team i've made i'm really enjoying it i'm actually enjoying playing i'm tempted to play champs this weekend but i'm really not sure it's currently two o'clock on the first whilst doing this and i haven't qualified yet i just don't know whether it's worth it but who knows who knows who knows here we've done the 86 plus upgrade and we've got robertson my prediction when I've done this, I was on headset with my mate at the time, was Thomas Muller, so not much different. Uh, Robertson cost at the time about 37k, I want to say he was, and I spent 37k on the SBC. So, no, I spent 37, he was 34, because I remember losing. So I think I lost 3k doing it, but we got him, and I'm pretty sure he goes into an SBC soon. But here we did get a walkout in the Premier League Prime Players pack from the season objectives and we got a walkout again so it's all fodder at this stage it's all fodder I mean unless it was a Bamiyang there he would be the only person that stays again because of Arsenal past and present nothing else but yeah that pack was not great but as you can see here there is that Laporte there is that Robertson and we went ahead and completed Hussein Awa. If you didn't do this card, I feel sorry for you. He is the best finisher next to Rashford I have used on this game. He doesn't miss. Uh, for some reason, I don't get myself actually submitting the squad, but that was the squad I submitted. And then I went through my club and I was looking at my league and players and I was like, I can make a decent little setup here. Like, there's players that not everyone's going to use and this volume to come out and i wasn't going to do him i was like i have no interest in doing that and then like i said i did awa i knew i had kashelny i've got a towel we got that sambi at the start of the episode memphis if we ever was to get neymar and mbappe again and for me as well volume being german linking into goretzka into gnabry into kadira he kind of turned into a no-brainer so i went ahead and i done him too so yeah we are at a nice stage i am gonna do a squad builder of my team and hopefully a couple games soon but that is coming to the end of this episode guys again let me know in the comments down below what you want to see because that's what's going to make it easier for me to know what to do and know what to upload but i hope you have enjoyed this recap guys and yeah, hopefully I will see you soon. So happy new year again, guys. And until next time, stay safe, have a good day and peace.